was a lot of fear from the part of the international community, not just people here in Switzerland, that this was going to have a bigger financial contagion effect that it has had. And if you look at the stock market reaction this week, banking stocks have actually done quite well out of well, this. I would say here is because the federal government of Switzerland has been able to intervene very, very quickly. I think the experience of 2008 played a role here. So they intervened, they put a stop gap with money, they forced the acquisition of Credit Suisse uh, from UBS, yeah. and, uh, and that put more confidence in the people, put more confidence in the shareholders. Uh, it shows that today federal governments and authorities in general are capable to intervene to help solve a problem that could have been catastrophic in other moments. You and I were just chatting a little bit off camera and um, you've told me that you are actually one of the people who owned those cocoa bonds, the ones that got zeroed. Yes, I do. So tell us how you feel about it and are you planning on taking any action? Not very well. I don't feel very well, of course. I mean, from my point of view, the good thing is that I have a small investment in cocoa bonds, uh, but there are people who put all their savings counting on the fact that a financial institution like Credit Suisse would have never gone into the situation that they went into. Um, I know and I understand, and this is just uh, the beginning of the action, that there are a couple of lawyers that are organizing, that are creating the situation in order to look at bringing the cocoa bonds back to the level where they are from the capital point of view, which is definitely above the equity. Because here we have a situation where people invested in these bonds, considering them as secure, because they're supposed to be above the equity level. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, we have equity, people who own equity from Credit Suisse, who get some money, and people who own bonds from, from Credit Suisse who have no money. Yeah. And that needs to be solved. Well, I, I guess one of the things that uh, the anchors were debating around the desk is whether or not it would have been okay if the equity common shareholders had also got a zero as well. In that case, would you would have you been okay with the outcome? It's never okay. It's never okay. But on the other side, what is important here is the disparity in treatment between bondholders and equity holders, and that needs to be solved. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.